Hey fam, welcome or welcome back to another video of I'm Press. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about this comment that I wrote. Um, I'll read it in a minute. But the comment that I'm about to read is, I'm hoping it will help you and you can look at your, what you're going through. If you're going through anything, this is the comment for you. Um... I want you guys to know that if you are going through something, you're not alone because I went through a lot of things. Um, to be honest, the um, I don't. A lot of you guys should know this, but I don't know. Um, if I should it, but I don't just have heart problems. I have a lot of other problems. Um, I have a feeding tube. Um, I have weight issues. Um, like I need to gain weight. Um. <laughs> And I I have eye issues. I have like this eye is totally blurry. This eye is fine. Um, I have I'm trying to think of what else I have. I had a trach when I was little. It's like it was right there. I'm going to pray for you, even if I don't know you or I I don't know. Just like so many people in my life have prayed for me throughout my years in the hospital so many people have prayed for me and I want the same for you if you're going through something I want the same for you guys I'm gonna pray for you um so yeah let me read the comments um if you guys did not um get to like hear it or whatever um I can't believe that this is what I went through. And now I'm a teenager. I'm going to be honest. I was a little bit sad to be 13. And now I'm happy that I'm able to put whatever, what I've gone through in a box. I can keep on moving. So I, I'm going to keep reading it, but let me just pause right there. What I was saying is basically what I have gone through. Yeah, I'm able to put it in a box. But really, I'm, I'm able to put it behind me or far away from me um, and just keep on running, keep on moving with life and just not pulling that box. Like if I took a box, let's pretend there's a box and I took all those problems and I threw it in the box and I shoved it under my bed. Um, I would feel like I just took a bit a big weight off of me, kind of, you know? Like you have so much pressure in your life and then you just get it all out, you know? That kind of thing, but yeah. So what I'm saying is basically I put all my problems in a box when, I'm, when I turned 13 and I threw it under my bed and I'm not gonna touch it until I need it or I want it. I don't actually have a box of everything just saying um but yeah so and then go hang out with friends go just be whoever I want to be and let people know and also when I say I'm running away from it I'm not not running away but like going going on with my life just keep on running with my life and the thing is when when I put it in the box people can't think of me of that of that girl they can't think of me with the girl, oh, hey, there's the girl with the heart problems. Oh, there's the girl that has a G-tube or all those things. Because I put it under the box and I'm running, they can't do that. And even if you put it away, some people are going to say that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, some people are just going to say it and they're... And I ask you questions, and it, honestly, I want to say, it is your, it is your option. It is, you're, you're responsible with who you share it with. Um, it's not something that other people can share, it's only you. And you can ask people to share if you want. I know I have some people that I've said, hey, you want to share this about me? If you meet somebody and you think you need to, just share it. Um, 
so yeah because i i don't know i just i just love to help people that's how i am so let's move on with the rest um you never really know how amazing god is until you see what he has done and helped you with I'm going to keep on reading. God, you are so awesome. God, you are so awesome. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Please help those parents who have a baby and is having a hard time with their baby. And show them you're real. Um, it's true. <laughs> you never really know how amazing God is until you see what he has done. I was probably around four when I asked Jesus in my heart. And I don't really know. I know when I did it. Um, I don't, I know why I did it. I was just so young, so I can't really remember. Um, but just, I, what was going through my mind at that time, though, I do remember this. What was going through my mind at that point was, hey, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. Because, yeah, I just wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God. So... And, and my family, of course, because they are the ones who prayed. And God took their prayers and shined it on me. Um, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I guess what I'm trying to say here is that that I am really sorry for those for you if you are going through something terrible something with your child and you don't know what's going to happen my parents met these people and when they found out i had trunk and soteriosis they met these people and thank god for these people because my parents were so scared, so scared at the time when after they found out. And they heard that these people, their son was diagnosed with um, trunk But so anyway, so they went up to them and they were just like, hey, my daughter is diagnosed with can you please tell me what's this what it's gonna be like or can you help me or whatever and they just said like the first year the first year is rough but the first two years are even harder because you're just in and out in the hospital you're mainly in the hospital a lot more you get to you have to it's just all these things like about hospital and stuff and then they said she will be okay my son before this played soccer and so they were just like he he she's gonna be okay it's just really rough the first couple years and after the first couple years they were right but after the first couple years I was in a pink dress. Um, I want to share this in a little bit more. My, I think this will help. My, I don't want to share her name, but my Nana's friend, she, she's amazing because I think I was getting into my second open heart surgery. I was around two year, a year old. I don't know. I think, no, I was two years old. And she, we were waiting. And she goes, oh my gosh. And God gave her this picture of me with my with a bun in my hair. I'm going to have glass slippers. Um, and I'm going to be twirling in a pink 
dress. And a year later, three years old, I was at my Nana's house in a pink dress, glass slippers, um, and twirling in my Nana's house or in her living room. All basically all over her house, but it's just amazing that she was able to find that in her mind or God was able to give that to her. And so I just hope that you guys can pray. I'll pray for you guys. Um, I would like, it's okay if you don't want to, but um, I would like if you guys could comment down below, like, oh, I'm in a hard time. I'm having a hard time. You don't have to tell me anything. Just say I'm having a hard time. Um, or... Yeah, just, I'm having a hard time, and I'll read your name, and I will start, and I'll start praying until, until, I don't know, I'll just keep praying. So, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do want to say one more thing. If you go to the Bible... And you find this scripture. I don't know what it is. But if you go to your Bible. Or online or whatever. Look up. my. This is my. This is my favorite scripture. You should look up. The scripture in the Bible. That says. I can do all things. Through Christ. Who gives me strength. Or who strengthens me. I think who strengthens me. Um, who gives me Christ or whatever. Something like that. I can do all things through Christ to do some strength. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I think that's how it goes. I'm not sure though. Um, but I think I knew that scripture around my, ooh, I'm trying to think, around my third open heart surgery, I knew it. And when I got out and before, I just knew it all. I had it in my mind, just the verse over and over and over until I fell asleep. And I woke up and it came back. And I just, until I got out of the hospital, I had it. And I was like, yep, God has strengthened me. And now I have a new valve that's going to make me even stronger. Um, and, yeah, so it's it's just god is amazing so i hope you guys take this video and show it to people that are having hard times and i'm hoping that that you guys that this video helped you guys that that's my goal this year is to get more into youtube and more and more and more into helping you guys um do the things um so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you would like. Um, and yeah. So, bye guys.